Of all the social networks that I use, Instagram is my favorite to use hashtags on. Find out how it's beneficial to you and your business by watching this video. Hello and welcome to The Income Highway. This is a show where we talk all about how to build and grow your online business. My name is Paul James Carey and as you can see today is a purple hoodie day, so we're talking about Instagram. Not only is Instagram my favorite social network to be using hashtags on, but honestly I see it as the most popular social network to be using hashtags on. Using hashtags on your Instagram post is definitely the best way to get yourself noticed, especially at the very beginning of your business. Let's go ahead and stick with our regular example that we do here on The Income Highway and let's say that you're on a cocktail website. After you've made a few different drinks, you can take pictures of them and put them on Instagram. You can then go ahead and include some hashtags on your post such as hashtag cocktail, hashtag tasty, hashtag drink and a few different variations. That now means that when somebody searches those hashtags you will appear in search results and if they like what you've already put up they will become part of your following, part of your audience. Some of the most popular and most searched hashtags on Instagram include TBT which stands for throwback Thursday. This is where people can share old memories or old pictures and especially for business it's really helpful because you can share an older post. And a few of the other main popular ones would be love, summer, happy, fun, a few different things like that. But I'm sure you can see that there's a team behind them all and they're all good emotions. By the way, if you wanna learn more, I got that information about the most popular hashtags from Post Planner. I'll leave a link to that exact article in the description below. Now don't forget, you can also go ahead and you can actually create your own hashtag, which can be really beneficial to your business. Let's say you wanna give away a free cocktail shaker to somebody in your audience. You should then go ahead and get them to make their favorite cocktail, take a picture, put it on Instagram, and then include the hashtag that you've made, where it could be something very simple like cocktail comp. Because it's only your audience that are using that particular hashtag, once you search it, you'll be able to see all the entries for your competition. Now that's also a fantastic way so you can see how many people are actually interested in your competition, how many people are actually going ahead and submitting entries. And over time, as your business grows, you can even use your own brand as a hashtag. So for example, hashtag the income highway is something that I'm hoping in the future, a lot of people will use on many posts. And obviously nobody else is using that hashtag except for me and my audience. So anytime I search hashtag the income highway, I can see it's either from my audience or something that I've posted myself recently. A quick example of where this has already worked, look at the hashtag AskGaryV. This is what Gary Vaynerchuk is using so his audience can actually ask him questions that they want answered on the show. However, you do need to find the balance for your hashtags. Having too many can look very unprofessional and having none will make it difficult for anybody to find you. Normally what I do is I have about two or three hashtags maximum in my posts. And don't forget you can actually put hashtags in between your posts, not just at the very end. Generally what I like to do is I like to have a hashtag in between the post in the middle of the words and also one or two hashtags at the end of the phrase. Don't forget you can also use current trending hashtags. I mean just as an example, I recently released a podcast all about Pokemon Go. When I posted to my Instagram audience that podcast was available to listen to, I did use the hashtag Pokemon Go, which actually got me a lot of new followers. There you have it, that's how simple it can be to use hashtags on Instagram. It doesn't take up a lot of time and it gets your business out there to more people. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you wanna learn more about how to build and grow your online business, please hit the subscribe button below because there's a new video on this channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There's also a new podcast over on iTunes every Tuesday and Thursday. If you wanna learn more specifically about how to build your business using Instagram, please click the annotation over here. Thanks again for watching this video. I look forward to talking to you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.